Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name's Emily. I'm really excited about today's video. It's going to be about my favorite 2022 items and investments and things that I've really been enjoying so far that I've incorporated in my life or things that have changed since last year. I know, new year, new me. I'm just really excited to share what I've discovered in 2022. Most of the things I started in December, I've slowly, slowly made some of this stuff a habit and I'm still getting into it. I think it, they say that it takes about 60 days for something to become a habit. So I am slowly getting there. The first thing that I want to talk to you about is my 2022 investments. So these are long-term investments in the future in about 20 to 30 years. And it's trading cards. I'm a girl, but it doesn't make a difference. I'm in my early 20s. I'm 23. I just want to have a long-term investment and it's something that I've been enjoying. My trading card investment is Pokemon. I've gotten into it just after New Year's, so it's been very short but sweet. And I have found some incredible investments. The first one, it's a 25-year celebration Pokemon. This is 25 year celebration ultra premium collection. This retails for $120 and I found mine in store and people were already selling these between 250 to 300 all the way up to like 400, 500. So the fact that I put my hands on this box is pretty incredible. I'm gonna save this and maybe in another 20 years if I still have this channel, we can see what it goes for. So this is my first investment. Staying in the same category, my second investment is still, woo, still in the Pokemon. It's a 25 year celebration elite trainer box. Retails for $50. My Pokemon investment is going pretty well and it's something fun to do. You get to open cards, you get to collect them. And I've already, I've always kind of enjoyed that. I used to collect Gidos. It used to be little pieces of paper with a little mouse on it back when I was at school, but this is a lot different. I never collected Pokemon back in the day and who cares what gender or what age you are. You can start collecting, making your investment and ultimately making a lot of money from it. So it's fun and you should do it as well. The next investment I wanna talk about, but I won't get too much into it is retirements. I know that some people at my age haven't started them. We still have debt from college or from purchases that we made. So I would say just saving up, paying off your debt or starting, <laughs> or starting a retirement is a good place to start, especially in your 20s to start off your 30s right. Being debt free and having a retirement plan is a great option to start investing in. My fourth investment for 2022 and throughout my life is improving myself, improving my skills. This is why this one, is, I so hold it so deep into my heart is I have always enjoyed photography, videography. I've invested in a camera, but what has changed my world is this MacBook Pro that I got for Christmas. I've been able to edit my photos, edit my videos. I can also take online courses and it's just been an incredible investment. But I'm very fortunate, very lucky, and very grateful with this. And it has really changed my 2020. This has been an investment in improving myself and improving my skills. The other improvement and investment I've been putting into 2022, I have been reading a lot. I didn't used to like reading when I was younger, but as I've been growing up, I've really liked reading these types of books. The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz. That's one of my favorite books. The second one that I really enjoyed, I've held onto it and I've read it a couple times as well, is The Power of Now. This book grounds you and it's just a really good book to make you focus on the now be grateful for what you have and not focus too much on the past or on the future what you're living now is the crucial moment good book really good book to read throughout different chapters of your life as well these are all different types of books as well so if you're not into like the self-help books i have other books as well this one i haven't read all in one go depending on what chapters i need at the moment i just go to the different chapters depending on where you are, what you need help with. So all about financial security, self-security, and relationships and careers during your quarter life. So if at some point you feel like you're having a quarter of a life crisis, 
read this book. Another book that I bought when I bought that book is Designing Your Life. There are so many wonderful lessons and exercises in this book. I'm still doing them. I still haven't finished it. For example, how you react to certain things throughout your day, throughout your week, if you enjoy it, if you don't, and you could put it in and mark it up. So this is another really nice book. I know that they also have an exercise book on this as well. Things that you want in your life, things that affect your life positively, negatively, have a good idea and a grasp of what you enjoy and how you can design your life around those specific things. So pretty nice when you're having your quarter of life crisis, turn to this book, you'll be able to know what you like and what you don't like. That's how I figured out that I really like photography, videography, being creative, writing, reading, and all the good stuff. So, and if you didn't like any of those books I just mentioned, Alex Ryder, something a bit more on fiction, adventure, and crazy stuff. Beyond This World, a fun book. I read for it really really quick i'm really enjoying it it's alex rider there is also movies on amazon prime and that's how i discovered alex rider so i'm very late to it but there's still books coming out the author is incredible and he just describes these books and they're written to the millimeter in details. So I really recommend these books if you haven't read them. If you're feeling nervous or anxious and you just need something to do, just read these types of books, self-help books. It'll make you feel so much better. So reading is also one of my investments, putting into myself, improving myself, making me feel better. A couple of my beauty favorites in 2022, a couple things that I've really been liking is my tinted moisturizers, my tinted sunscreens. The two that I really, really love, which are my tinted sunscreens moisturizers at the moment is the Altia MD and another one I've been loving is the CeraVe. So the second beauty item that I've been loving is by Fenty Beauty the matchstick which is a cream contour. I love contour. I just found that powder <laughs> But powder. I found that powder isn't really my thing anymore. I'm not too keen on it and cream contour looks incredible. So this is the one I've been loving. Mine is in the shade 03 Mocha. One of my favorite items in the fashion category is my jewelry. For Christmas, I got a beautiful bracelet. It is gold and it has a pink crystal, which is a quartz. And I love crystals. I love gold. I love jewelry. This is my beautiful bracelet. And obviously you recharge it in the sun. So thank you, sister, for this beautiful bracelet. My... <laughs> My next favorite fashion piece is, is a Sun and Calvin Klein dress that I bought from TJ Maxx. It has a split in the front. I do have a couple of weddings coming up this summer and this dress is just going to be perfect. And it's just nice and shiny and long. It's normally $220 and I bought it for $80. Great purchase of 2022 so far. My next kind of purchase in the fashion category for 2022 is this bag. It kind of looks like an off-brand for the Gucci bag. This is my $40 look-alike Gucci bag. I can't remember what we say, but yeah. Moving on from the fashion category is my health category. So in this one, I have tried to improve myself in a lot of different ways. I do have a very specific diet. I eat fish, so I'm a pescatarian, but I have also eliminated dairy, eggs, and meat. And so it is kind of very restrictive and it can be hard to get all the right nutrients and supplements into my diet and all the protein that I need. So I found a lot of different way. I do drink some protein shakes and also I have some vitamins, multivitamins, which are these. Alongside, I also take probiotics as well. I grew up in France and I would always have a yogurt after dinner. So these are some of my favorite vitamins, which I really enjoy. I take them in the morning after my breakfast. I also try to drink as much water as I can. I love having the straw. So having a little cup to drink it in is super helpful. So I've been really good about drinking as much water as I can. The next one is the gym working out, getting some exercise in. I used to love to run, especially at school. I would go to the gym a lot. When I moved to the States, I would go to the exercise. I would go to the exercise. I'd go to the gym and work out a lot. Then I kind of fell into, I don't know, just fell out of the gym. <laughs> and then I would just be more into hiking and skiing 
but not really working out, moving all the muscles that I need to move. So this year I've been getting back into running, getting into working my arms out, my back, and I never did that before. My legs, getting the cardio, but also getting the strength training in that I need and functional training. So that has made a big difference and I feel it. Sometimes I have more energy. Obviously, sometimes I can be more tired the next day. I feel my arms and my muscles feel really, really sore. But obviously, my health is so important and knowing that I have the ability to go to the gym, work out, be healthy, so then later on in life, I can be stronger and be healthy inside and out is very important. It's really nice to be able to be on a healthy strike in and a healthy road for the long term future touching up on that is also sleep sleep we all deprive ourselves of sleep sometimes and getting enough sleep is key for our day for our bodies to refuel themselves and have another really enjoyable day <laughs> Enjoyable day. Enjoyable day. Because when we're tired, we can be moody, we can be sleepy, we want to take naps. Not as productive. We need to be productive, be able to get stuff done. And yeah, when you're sleepy, tired, moody, it just doesn't work. And then you just become more hungry and then you start becoming snacky. So get enough sleep as well. The next category that I want to go into is stress and anxiety. I do experience that. I am going through a couple changes in my life, my routine, kind of everything. And stress is hard as well because then sometimes you get enough sleep, you get grumpy and moody, but then stress and anxiety can cause the same type of problem. I mean, I'm not a doctor, so I don't really know the specifics, but for me, it kind of feels the same as when I don't get enough sleep. And and with stress and anxiety I found that journaling has been really helpful and writing down my thoughts and how I'm feeling just keeping track of everything has been super helpful this is one that you do before bed so your thoughts before bed are going to journal you reflect you write what you're proud of and how can you carry that feeling I've also seen a lot of people that do one in the morning which is the five minute journal you write a line or a couple lines in there and then look at it throughout the course of five years I might start doing that but I've also really liked liked documenting my day step by step of what I'm going to do, what I'm going to get done so I feel a little more productive and my mind's kind of clear and if stuff starts to enter then I can just type it up, see what I need to do and that will make me feel a lot better knowing that I got it done or that that's something that I need to get done so it kind of clears my mind. Frees me up of another thing I don't have to worry about. Another tip which is really helpful for having stress and anxiety sometimes or feeling a little overwhelmed is drinking tea in the morning at night doesn't really matter. I drink tea that doesn't have any caffeine in it. Saying that I drink matcha <laughs> is something that I've discovered at the end of the last year and that I've really incorporated this year instead of drinking coffee. Coffee just does not go with me. I'm just very off when I drink coffee. So tea is my next step. Chamomile and matcha are my go-to. I drink my tea, my namaste, calm, zen and a positive type mug. A couple other things that I've been doing this year why I have stress and anxiety is going out outside more. I wake up in the morning, get right out of bed, get dressed, go out the door. I might go on a walk. I might go grocery shopping. I might, I kind of go everywhere and anywhere. Maybe sometimes I'll just go on a drive. It all depends, but I'm up by seven, eight and I'm out the door. It's made me feel more productive. It's made me feel like I have more hours in the day. And it just makes me feel really good on the inside to get that fresh breeze right when I'm in the morning. And I think it's really beneficial for everyone. And I, at the same time, listen to to a podcast which I also have been loving and it's really changed my mindset is feel better live more there are so many different guests on the podcast and it's just a really nice podcast to listen to in the morning I know I did touch up on books but I also really enjoyed can't hurt me I didn't read it as a book I listened to it as an audible book that book is incredible I had a friend that read it and told me that it is better as an audible book because David Goggins does get into it more and explain some points and it just feels like a podcast just feels like you're living and going through with it and it's incredible so buy the book if you bought the book and if you've read it listen to it as well because it is incredible as an audible book than just the book the book is great I want to get it as well I'm reading it again but the audible version of that book is incredible so go and get it 
listen to it, read it this year. Tell me down below your best part of it and what it changed for you. I know it changed a lot of my mindset. And obviously we're so much stronger than we think we are. And we There is so much stuff that we're capable of doing in one day and in a lifetime, literally in a lifetime. We can do anything we want to do. It's all in here. I mean, it is easier said than done. We all have our problems. We all have a different mind and we all have different lives. But our mindset and our brains are so strong and so powerful and it is an incredible book. So if you don't have time to read listen to it as an audible book you will not regret it and it is not a waste of time so podcasts and audible books and the final point in this category that i want to touch upon are candles i am burning a candle right now it's a christmas candle this is one that my sister got me for christmas it is warm coconut plus sandalwood it's by cord and iron you can probably get this online i just sit at my desk smell it and i just don't want to burn it because i want to get another one before i burn this one i want to keep this one forever and just get one that i can just burn because my sister got me this and it's just special to me so i'm probably gonna buy one of these exact ones and burn it on my desk and make me feel so calm i did read that apparently it's really nice and super helpful to have different scents in different rooms of your house so having a scent in the bathroom having a scent in the living room your work area the kitchen so every time you can go in there you just feel <sighs> You just feel free and liberated. And so if I go into my bathroom, I feel relaxed. And when I'm at my desk, I have that smell that makes me feel a little more relieved. And when I sit down on my couch and I have that candle burning, I just get into a stress-free, just as when you walk into your house and the dinner's cooking and you just feel that smell. It just makes you feel so comfortable and you just feel really, really good. You just, I don't know. There's something about scents that's just really smoothing and relaxing and makes you get into this mode of just relaxation feel at home feel at peace not feel nervous not feel stressed so that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you can take some points from it make your own top categories and best things that you've been doing and that you've been loving throughout the start of 2022 write them down below share them with us all and i hope there's something and some main points that you can take away from this video and just spread them throughout the course of your year as well if there's any that you want to share with us or tag me in you can tag me on instagram tiktok write them down below in the comments and i'd love to hear what you've been up to at the beginning of your new year you can follow me on my instagram on this channel just subscribe and of course like this video i also post some content on tiktok which you can also follow and i will see you in my next video thank you for watching have a great day yeah i just want to be great yeah.